You know, I, I tell people all the time, you know, toxicology is the basis of a lot of what we do. Um, before a product can co come on the market, it has to have a toxicology um, assessment. Before a pharmaceutical product can go on the market, it has to have a toxicology assessment. And so, you know, without toxicology, a lot of, we wouldn't have a lot of things. Um, and so it's really a basis of a lot of the products and a lot of the medicines and things that we currently use today. So it's, it's very important. Yeah, when I was a child, I actually wanted to be an architect, but it did not turn out that way. And my career in toxicology actually started as a chemist. I'm originally from Istanbul, Turkey, so I got my Bachelor in Science in Chemistry in Istanbul, then moved to United Kingdom to get my PhD. And I got my PhD in Organic Chemistry from University of Newcastle Open Tyne. And during the last year of my PhD program, we had a professor visiting from University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and he really liked my research and asked me if I would consider joining his laboratory as a postdoctoral fellow. So this is how I started in a toxicology program. And, but the following year, I went to Society of Toxicology. That was my first meeting at SOT, and it was love at first sight. And I was amazed to see how chemistry could be integrated with the toxicological studies. So this is when I made my decision that I really wanted a career in toxicology, still use my expertise in chemistry. I kind of fell into toxicology. When I was um, in undergrad, I worked in the microbiology lab and I loved it. I, you know, I loved the research and I thought I wanted to be a microbiologist. Well. I applied to the microbiology department at um, UAMS and unfortunately I didn't have the background in microbiology to um, go into the PhD program so they sent my um, application over to the tox. They thought I would be a good fit for the toxicology program. So I got an interview, I went in and I loved it and that's, that's where I've been ever since. You know, a lot of people don't know about toxicology and you know, they, they're kind of scared of it, but it's very interesting and it's a broad range of, of areas that you can go into. Um, academia, industry, environmental consulting, um, litigation, you know, um, toxic tort. So that's really big now and toxicologists are needed. And so it's not a narrow field of, of work or study. It's so broad and there's so many things you can do with a toxicology degree. Um, right now I am part of actually a training program. It's called NAMS Pilot Training Program. And my role is a technical expert when there is a need for the technical questions on the science part that I help my team. I work with a great team and we are developing trainings for NAMS tools at EPA. So my title right now is a Research Outreach and Communication Specialist. I'm in environmental consulting. And so I pretty much do a wide range of things. Um, I've done litigation support. I've done product safety, product stewardship, um, risk communication, risk assessment, um, public safety. I've um, helped with you know companies when they have accidental exposures to, to different chemicals. I you know talk to their employees. I talk to um, the healthcare workers to give them a little information about whatever chemical you know, is in question. And so I've, I've kind of done a lot of different things. For me, it wasn't a straightforward path. As I said, I didn't start as a toxicologist, but now I'm a board certified toxicologist. That's based on the influences I actually got with, from my coworkers and uh, different things that I took on throughout my career. Be part of the mentoring events and don't be afraid of asking questions. And one thing that I wish that I was told at the time is there is no straightforward path really and somebody else's journey is not yours. So create your own path and go for what you really want to do.